Hey folks, welcome to uh, my power shop, my solar power shop at night. Yes sir, yes ma'am, this is what it looks like at night. And the air conditioning's rolling, keep them all electronics cool. Day was apparently a good day today. Didn't get that warm. Uh, it was like, I think 79 for the high today, but we'll check it out. Um, but that's what she looks like at night. The power shop. The hub, our back hub, our back Flex Max 80 MPPT, other Outback Flex Max 80 MPPT, and the Midnight Solar, the Kid MPPT charge controller. And there's my conversion dump load Midnight Solar TriStar 60 amp, my Outback Mate 3, and my Bogart Trimetric. One of them. That's the TM and that's the RV right here. And down there, there are lights down there flashing. Um, right there, that is my Netgear uh, Nano uh, Ethernet connect connector. Powerline. Powerline Ethernet connector that goes to the house so I can read my outback mate. Three and what my sister's doing tonight. Okay. And there is my the uh, air conditioner. That says 64 degrees to keep my batteries cool. And as you see here, temperature is 73 degrees Fahrenheit, which is that's probably around 23, 24 degrees Celsius. Which is good. Alright, well, I want to turn some lights up on to let you see here in a second. And that's the FlexNet DC status lights right here. <laughs> just get one, let's just see a little something different here. Just see the same old videos. Um, Alright, we'll cut some lights on here. Y'all get ready. Voila. But we had a little hurricane come through yesterday. Uh, it was the, let me see here, it was the Hurricane Arthur came through and we didn't get much of it, thank goodness, or thank God, whatever you believe in has found me. It's all good, um, just as long as you believe in something. But um, I'm going to show you the power. We were, yesterday we had a lot of wind, lots some corn down, outskirts of the hurricane. Uh, nothing major, but my sister got hit hard. She's down in Wilmington, North Carolina. And they probably got, they lost power and I think a few, bunch of few trees down, that kind of stuff. But it's kind of a, the normal down there, and had just got hit pretty hard. Um, on, you know, water was over top my my sister, my wife's cousin. Excuse me, my wife's, my wife's cousin's got a place in Waves. They got hit pretty hard, and they had the sound come up on on their house. So that's a, that's a shame, but they're okay. All right, let's get back to the solar business here. Um. Everything's, everything's okay over here on the East Coast so, so far. I hope there, nobody got hurt, no one died. But. All right, today on the 700 watt array on the flatter part of the roof, we made 4.4 .4 kilowatt hours. And on the other FlexMax 80 MPPT, M, yeah, I hope I said it right, MPPPT. I've been making videos long enough, I don't know exactly what it is. We made 7.9 kilowatt hours, or 7.9, or 7,900 um, watt hours. Oh, uh, flex max. Right. I've had these things for every year. These charge controllers, and they've been holding up really good. Um, as y'all all know, there's my hub. But my system is an um, on-grid 
off grid uh, version or battery um, battery backup grid tie capable UL listed all that good stuff so it's doing really good for me I'm really happy with my system all right anyway today well uh, I don't really have the kilowatt hours on here yet but I can see that's with 25.8 volts solar um, and the whiz bang junior that's right here I have a 270 amp hour battery bank uh, which can, is if you multiply that up it's 5,666 watts uh, tw uh, 24 volt uh, but anyway it took 266 amp hours remaining so tomorrow at this time it'll be charged it's, well it says the state of charge 100% that's pretty good get out of here and the kid has been an awesome awesome charge controller you are on the market to buy a little charge 30 amp charge controller MPPT it'll definitely do the job I'm still I'm a beta tester number 69 and it's doing a heck of a job alright my diversion controller uh, that's from a wind turbines. I have two wind max 24 volt at 1000 watts each. And that's my diversion controller. I go straight to the battery bank. And then here are my breakers. Right here. These are my breakers for my uh, Morningstar, um, TriStar MS60. 60 amp breaker here and a 60 amp breaker from my solar air heater or diversion dump load resistor load that's where the excess power out of the battery bank if you get too much of a surge of wind I mean a lot of wind it comes into my right here into my resistors and also here I got about six, another 600 watts of resistors right here and that is also uh, comes for diversion from a wind and that's coming straight out the battery bank through these breakers here okay that's the way to hook up wind straight from a wind turbines now I got a breaker now from a wind turbines I have a C3 amp breaker right here and it says wind right here and that's how I got my hooked up before it hits the battery bank I have a breaker where I can shut it off or anything I need to do. It's right here. And also on the other side, I have my, on the other side part of the shop, I have my, uh, my brakes and my rectifiers for my wind. But this is a breaker here for the, you know, the air heaters. This one right here, right here. And that one, this one right on the far right is that one right there. So that explains the wind and the, how easy it is with the, the dump load and how to hook it up. And I think on the midnight, on the midnights, plastics or the uh, kid, you can set up for, for diversion for wind. The outbacks you can set for diversion and for wind also. But I have mine set in a PWM charge controller. Uh, they're, they're pretty proven and they're reliable. Not that the MPPT yet, and I just got PWM that's a lot cheaper in cost and it's efficient. Alright, so back to business here. That's to me total much. We didn't have any wind today very much. We had a little couple gusts of um, 13 mile an hour. Heat index, like going high and low. The heat index was uh, 83, so it wasn't bad. So, overall, 
overall, we got really good solar today. Not much wind, but we got good solar today. Now I'm gonna take you up into here. Okay. And get this thing adjusted here. All right. This I'm gonna get him a flex net right here. And today we made. 14.25, so I'll round the five off to a three, 14.3 kilowatt hours a day. So, we kicked booty today. All right, if I go back on here, made 12.3 kilowatt hours, because I, my other ones aren't added in there. My other 120 watt panels aren't on a, um, um, in other words, it's only read it's only read my outback mate uh my, excuse me my outback flex max 80s so on the mate 3 it's saying we made 12.3 kilowatt hours a day but in all reality with the other with, with the other charge control the midnight solar kit we made 14.250 kilowatt hours so 12.3 12.3, all right, 12.3, and 14, 14, 2. Those, those, two, those two 120 watt panels in all reality made at 2,000, two 120 watt panels, they made me 2,000 watt hours, or two kilowatt hours. So that's really good. And we can go to graph at your battery voltage next state of charge 100% and that's what we made today boom so we did good that is the total system right here that's jump B that's the wind see a little hump there that's where we made wind earlier a little bit of wind today not much and that is the 120 watt array. With the, it's reading the flex net DC is reading the power that we produce today from the uh, the uh, 100 the two 120 watt panels set up in 24 volt. So it's, it's pretty it's pretty kicking. Uh, all right. Next we'll get out of here. Um, Next, shunts. Jump B is wind. We made 20 kilowatt hours a day in wind. Eventually we had a little gust of wind, 13 mile an hour. It wasn't enough, no, no some sustain, no good winds today. All right, good. Next, shunt C. We made 160 watts from the midnight solar MPPT charge controller. Plus the heat and the angle of the sun and all that good stuff, which is not too bad for this time of year. As you know, this is July 5th. Um, next is Shunt A. That's the whole system complete. Our most power we produced at one time was 1,810 kilowatt hours. All right. Well, anyway, oh, back, let me get back to that. Um, it's 22 degrees Celsius right now. Um, the, the battery temperature is right now. That's great. 25 degrees Celsius is about probably uh, is really good. Um, but you get above 25 degrees Celsius, that's when your batteries start not doing the best they can do. That's one reason I had the air conditioner run. Because <laughs> that inverter gets really hot. It gets warm, put it that way. And I believe motion burners get pretty warm. Alright. So we'll get out of here. Anyway, I just want to give you a little update on how the system's doing and let it, let it see what it looks like at night. But anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. And... This is KBSMC. Or Kenny. Alright, just don't call me late for dinner.
hey, thank y'all for watching, and please subscribe, and I'll give you some more updates on how the system's doing. All right, y'all take care now. All right, bye-bye. Wrong way. All right. Y'all take care now. All right, bye-bye. Please subscribe.